Hello from beautiful Kailua Okona, Hawaii. We are the Aerospace Meridian team from Makualani Christian Academy High School. My name is Abby Byers. I'm Anella Monell. My name is Alex Lin. I'm Josh Reed. Today we aim to capture your imagination. The stunning and futuristic concept of the space elevator has the potential to alter our world and space travel as we know it. The far-reaching capabilities of a space elevator serves the long-term purpose of achieving a green road to space that is both sustainable and profitable. We are thrilled to share our proposal, Mission to Meter, which we will discuss in two parts. First, we will describe the financial and environmental benefits of a space elevator. These benefits will be achieved through the elimination of fossil fuel-based rockets, exponentially aiding the environment as well as reducing the monetary cost of space exploration. Second, we will present our plan to use space elevators for asteroid mining. This would be achieved by first exploiting the near-Earth asteroids to test the sequential fragmentation technology. After this technology has been proven, our ultimate goal is to harvest the immense resources of Mars vicinity asteroids, such as Heta, Austria, and Bolivia. So let's dive in. First, we'll consider cost efficiencies. Rockets require significant monetary investment to design, construct, maintain, and send into space. The cost of sending a rocket into space ranges from $21 million to over $1 billion. For fuel alone, the cost is extraordinary. For example, the 91 Falcon 9 launches by SpaceX in 2023 resulted in an estimated fuel cost of over $80 million. Now, if we take into account the overall cost of the Falcon 9 launches in 2023, the estimated expense amounted to $6 billion. While these numbers are limited to the SpaceX Falcon 9 launches of 2023, they offer a clear illustration of the exorbitant and extraordinary cost to sustain space travel as we know it. A critical question remains, does a more economical means exist? A space elevator presents a viable option for mitigating this expense. While the construction of a space elevator is estimated to cost up to $6 billion, once it is built, its maintenance is expected to be relatively low in comparison to annual rocket launches. Moreover, given the frequency by which payloads can be transported to space using an elevator, it stands as a great return on the investment. Employing alternative power sources to eliminate fuel costs is a means of ensuring that a space elevator is beneficial from both an economical and environmental standpoint. To power the space elevator, our plan is to use solar energy instead of fossil fuels. By fueling the space elevator with solar energy, the amount of greenhouse gas emissions will be reduced. We can shift away from fossil fuel-based launches, replacing them completely. By replacing them, we can help rid the planet of further threats that come with mining and using fossil fuels like carbon emission, air and water pollution, soil water management, strip mining, and damaged ecosystems. About 98% of fuel that rockets emit launches them from Earth to LEO. This expense will be eradicated with the use of a space elevator by spacecrafts reaching LEO through the space elevator. When a spacecraft is in GEO, a change in velocity, delta V, is required to transfer the spacecraft from GEO to LEO. Because of this, our team has decided to use hull thrusters which can do up to 8,000 ISP. The higher ISP, the higher the potential velocity and lower propellant cons consumption rate. According to our calculations, with an ISP of 6,000 seconds, only roughly 1.5% of the total propellant will be burned in a GEO to LEO transfer, regardless of the rocket size. By using ISP, we will see a massive decrease in the necessary propellant, eliminating much of the fossil fuels released into the atmosphere. Clearly, the environmental benefits of a solar power elevator are consequential. For Mission Demeter, we also consider the impact of space elevators on reducing space pollution. With fewer rockets, there will be a significant decrease of debris left in orbit. Space debris will be reduced due to the elimination of released rocket stages. Kessler syndrome occurs when orbiting space debris collides with other debris, shattering into countless fragments. This cycle repeats over and over again until Earth's orbit is permeated with innumerable tiny shards of shrapnel. Kessler syndrome will be extremely detrimental as satellites can be destroyed and anything attempting to reach orbit may be damaged. Through the implementation of a space elevator, Kessler syndrome can be prevented. Rocket stages are a sizable contributor of space debris, averaging at around 11%. Therefore, abandoning rocket usage in service of sustainable space elevator will decrease the possibility of the occurrence of Kessler syndrome. There will be little to no rocket stages expended if we utilize the elevator, as the rockets will be launched from the space elevator platform located in GEO. Additionally, we propose the space elevator possess an attachment to remove space debris from orbit, such as a net to sweep the debris into a collection chute. An invention like this could significantly reduce space debris and save on financing, shielding, and protection equipment. 
We trust that our presentation of the financial and environmental aspects of Mission to Meter has conveyed its tremendous benefits. We now wish to highlight its progressive capabilities and present our plan to use space elevators for asteroid mining. Asteroid mining is a new frontier in research harvesting, the pursuit of which a space elevator could help facilitate. First, we aim to target smaller and closer NEAs as initial testing to demonstrate the possibility and effectiveness of our method. Following the success of mining these smaller and less valuable NEAs, we plan to expand our horizons to access further, more lucrative asteroids. For mining the NEAs and further asteroids, a remotely operated spacecraft can be flown to capture the asteroid and slow its spin by anchoring it down. After anchoring the asteroid, Research harvesting is dependent on the composition of the asteroid. However, the overall process for NEAs is to utilize optical mining, which functions by concentrating sunlight onto the asteroid surface. This process would be used primarily for extracting water, but could be tested for metal mining. For metal mining, we plan to use a method where the asteroid is fragmented and excavated using either mining machines or individual glass. A bag anchored to a specific section of the asteroid would collect these broken rock fragments for processing. This method is called sequential fragmentation. We hope to test this process on small NEAs to understand and develop the technology so that it is effective and efficient for distant and better asteroids in the future. Earlier, we highlighted the cost efficiency of a space elevator. We now wish to illustrate the major money-making and environmental advantages of asteroid mining that would not be realized otherwise. Once asteroid mining is proven effective with NEAs, the space elevator would offer the possibility of accessing and mining main belt asteroids. Our team singled out the Heta asteroid as the most suitable candidate for mining among the three main belt asteroids we evaluated. It has an estimated value of $100 trillion, it has the lowest eccentricity of the three main belt asteroids, and its inclination is the lowest, further solidifying its accessibility. Its one notable flaw is that its delta V is 10.4 kilometers per second. However, the value of mining the Heta asteroid greatly outweighs its limitations. With main belt asteroids having values estimated in the trillion, asteroid mining has great potential to be lucrative. We also see asteroid mining significantly reducing current dependencies on Earth's limited resources and a means of doing away with the environmentally damaging effects of mining. The demand for Earth's metals is increasing and consequently we are depleting Earth's precious metals. The mining of asteroids would certainly be a successful commercial venture for private business. However, we see the humanitarian benefits as well. The revenue generated from asteroid mining could be reinvested into the space industry, furthering space exploration, technologies, and infrastructure. Excitingly, this new source of revenue can even finance the ultimate goal of raising the necessary infrastructure for humanity to inhabit space. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you how a space elevator is a green road to space, unlocking opportunities for humanity to realize dreams of exploration in an environmentally beneficial, cost-efficient, and profitable way. The implementation of a space elevator will bring a new era of environmental, financial, technological, and infrastructural advancements that has the potential to further humanity's innovation and can be recognized as a catalyst for a new era in space exploration.